starts up after you've shut it down like it was now uh, you'll see the little orange screen it uses uh, Windows Mobile as an operating system um, and then on this Windows Mobile we load our software called Trimble Access you'll see there you'll have a version this is quite an older version 2012.1 uh, and inside Trimble Access you've got our little um, menus where you can go into general survey which is your actual survey software and then settings is where you will adjust your survey styles and all of that then you've got internet setup and you've got files where you can manage and view your files and all that sort of thing um, but for now I think we will just be going into settings and that, well mostly what you will be using in settings um, for the application you guys are mostly using is uh, the survey styles uh, option under settings now um, as I told you before you've got VRS you've got a base rover RTK system um, you've got a lot of survey styles as the word says it's a survey style it's a type of survey you're conducting with your GPS okay so for that we will be going into survey styles okay now RTK is a survey style VX and S series is, is some of our um, robotic total stations and scanners. That's also a survey style. Uh, and IS Rover is also a survey style. If you had VRS or single bay setup on you, that's also a survey style. So we are going into our RTK survey style. Because mm -hmm. when we start our survey, we will also say measure RTK start base receiver. Because we're going to measure a RTK survey style and we want to start our base receiver on that survey style. Mm -hmm. So here you go. So under RTK, you'll have a lot of options here. Okay, you'll have rover options, which is our roving receiver here, our rover. Okay, and then it will ask us what type of survey are we conducting? We're conducting a real-time kinematic RTK survey. What is the broadcast format we are using? We are using CMRX, which is a radio broadcast format. If we were to use VRS or single base, we would go to VRS RTCM or RTCM RTK okay RTCM is a uh, network cell phone network type uh, broadcast format and then under use station index we'll say any so the most important thing here is the right broadcast format CMRX uh, which is a very wide uh, good broadcast format for radio frequencies um, which is Trimble's own actually as well and uh, it's a RTK survey and then also, you don't have to worry too much about these settings. The elevation mask is just the mask or the angle at which it will track satellites from the receiver, which we've always put at 10 degrees. And our definitions of precision mask is on 6. Uh, and then the antenna type we are using is a R6 Model 2 internal. Okay, it's an internal satellite receiver. Yeah. All right. Can I, sorry, the only thing is because I know from previously that yeah. was like the number of satellites in the sky that yeah that's yes exactly it six, and it's uh, yeah th that's its definition of precision based on the amount of satellites okay. and if it's it says poor p -drop, it means you're not getting good definitions of precision less than six satellites yeah is that what yeah, the that, yeah then satellites? it will drop okay. uh, losing initialization yeah okay so oh, old, um old differential for all four. yeah yeah look for uh, for a solution mm. you need four mm. um four GPS satellites and one low NAS satellite okay. so you know or, or, yeah or you need at least five satellites for a solution yeah okay. so uh, that's why we put it on six and then um, where is our um, antenna height measured to it's the bottom of antenna mount which is up to where we screw in our antenna to the bottom of the floor where the rod hits the ground okay and then uh, we usually put that on two meters because these uh, carbon fiber poles are usually two meters. But you must always measure it because uh, remember the the, the 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 pin goes into the ground sometimes and it actually wears as well. Believe it or not, I used to lose about eight mils uh, if my tip of my uh, stick has worn a lot and it like rounds, then it's not as sharp anymore and you actually lose about that much eventually. If you use it a lot, like on the mines, we used to measure stockpiles and mm. rock piles and all of that, and eventually weighs down. Okay, the screen just timed out now. Mm -hmm. All right, so that there you'll see your battery level as well. 
Uh, and this is basically all we will be able to change on this receiver. So I'm just going to go back to page 4. Uh, you can also see, uh, change here what type of satellites you want to track. We usually put the GPS L2C and learn our satellites on Galileo. We don't track here. And uh, on the new receivers, they actually have the Chinese satellites, the Beidou satellites mm -hmm. as well. Um, but here in South Africa, we'll just use these two. Then we'll say accept. Now we've got the rover receiver options. Now it's going to ask us what rover radio are we using. We always use a Trimble internal radio. Okay. And then um, that's usually the method, which you can keep the same there. You know, you'll only have that option or dial in or whatever if you need a, um, if you're doing a VRA survey. And then you can connect to this internal radio by pressing connect. So it's not on yet. Sorry. Have you, where's no, the small battery? Not yeah, I, 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 I'm going to switch it on. The same with the lights on the, uh, on the radio. Your, your center one will just be, your far right one will be the battery. It'll be the first one that comes on. On your far left hand side, you will have your uh, satellite light, which will be the second one to come on. And in the middle, you will have your radio light once it receives what that one transmits. Okay. So you'll see there your satellite light will come on first and it will connect to your controller via Bluetooth as soon as it picks it up. Alright, so I'm just going to say... Uh, it's going to connect now. There we go, see, no survey pedal. Okay, so let's see if it connects now, connecting to radio, see, seeing the Bluetooth connection, so here we go, so you will always have your frequency set up, this one is now set on 453.2 uh, megahertz, that's your radio frequency it's running on, and that's your radio mode, like I said, this is actually, it says radio mode, but it's more to do with your, what type of language are you talking, and what's your radio link rate, so we are receiving at 4,800 bits per second. Okay, that should correspond with what you have on your TDL450 on your base as well. So, we will change the radio settings on the controller for the internal radio, but for the external radio, you will change it on the display panel. Okay. You change it on the physical radio itself. Okay. okay. So, we're happy, 453.2, trim talk 450S at 4800. Okay. And we are already receiving radio there. You see that small little yellow lights mm -hmm. going into the radio? It means we are receiving radio signal. So if we were to start the survey now, we will be able to successfully start the survey. Okay. So I'm going to say accept here. And it will say setting radio. And we'll be done. Then I'm going to say accept here. Then we're going to go to base options. We need to change the things the same way. As with the rover options. It's also RTK survey. We're also broadcasting at CMRX. Because if we broadcast at CMRX... This one receiving at CMRX, then they're going to understand each other. But if I'm, I told the rover I want to receive at uh, CMRX um, a broadcast format, but I've got a different broadcast format here, I'm not going to understand either. Was that one of our problems previously? No, no. no your uh, problem back uh, there was um, you know, a lot of stuff. I can't even <laughs> start. Um, yeah. Uh, okay. <laughs> everything was completely set, set okay. out. Yeah. Okay. So our station index is 17. You can change that to whatever you want. Okay, it just means that when it picks up the base, it will give you the base station index. Okay. So you know you're picking up your base and not someone else's base. Oh, okay. okay, so you'll see 17 is yours. Also elevation mark 10 degrees at which it tracks the satellites. And it's a R62 internal receiver. Everything the same as we just did now with the, with the rover. So that also needs to correspond. Okay, now we're going to go to the most important one, which is our base radio. Or base data link. Okay, now... We're not going to say receiver internal yet because we don't have an internal radio there and we're not going to transmit internal. We've got an external radio. So first thing we need to tell it is what external radio are we using? Like you'll see there, it will have a custom radio, da, 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 but we've got a Trimble TDL450 as it's standing on the uh, 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 radio. Then it's going to ask you, now through which port do you want to transfer this correction strings of data to the radio, which is port 1? which is port 1 underneath your receiver there. That's always port 1. 
mm. unless you're using uh, other permanent base stations like our net r nines or those uh, um, permanent base station setups then they've got different ports okay but this one only has one port it's port one it will always be port one parity is always none and then the bolt rate that's the rate uh, through the cable, the serial baud rate at which it uh, sends the information is 9600. Okay. okay, so we've set this up and we're gonna say accept. And that's basically as much as we will do in terms of the base station setup. From here, there are other options as well. If you want to measure a tow per point, how many seconds should your occupation time be? These are all settings that you can change for your specific situation how you want to measure points, what you want your accuracies to be, should it store a point, if it's under a certain accuracy, that sort of thing. Okay, so that you can then go through in your own time to see, but it's not going to have much of a bearing on the base station setup or whatever setup it is. Okay, and you always say store after making changes. If you just press escape, it's not going to make the changes. Okay, all right, and I'm going to press escape again. All right, so now we've checked our survey style, everything looks fine. Then, on our physical radio here, you can hold that for me, please. Then you'll see on your physical radio here, you've got you've got uh, four arrow buttons and a center button, all right, and a power button. The radio will come on automatically if you put power into it, but you can switch it off as well, all right. So the left and right arrows will take you through all the different settings. You'll see there's a little star next to each setting. So you've got, that's the top one is the menu, which we go through when we press the right and left arrows. That's the menu, it's transmit power, RX LED menu, serial baud, signal strength. That's all the menus. And under each menu, there are different settings. See, show, hide, show, hide, on the advanced menus. Mm -hmm. On the channel frequency, I can select a specific frequency, but there's no star next to it. Why? Because I haven't selected it. How do I select it? I press the center circle button. Okay. So there's all your frequencies. So we said we want to be on channel 2453.2 because that's what we have on our rover. So that corresponds. Good stuff. There's a star next to it, which means it's chosen. Okay. Next one. We always on data protocol. We always go on trim talk 450S just as we had on the rover radio when we went on the internal. We said most TT 450S at 4800. That's your radio link rate. Okay. There we go. Radio link rate. 4800. We had it. 4800 on the rover. Mm. Okay. Next one. Operation mode. How are we using this this uh, this radio? Are we using it as a base radio or a repeater? Remember, I told you you can use it as a repeater. Mm. Repeater two. We can use it as a repeater as well. But it's a base rover setup. So we're using this radio as a base. The star is next to it. That's good. Then next, RX sensitivity, which is our receiving light. We don't want it to be sensitive to receiving because we're not receiving anything we're just transmitting so i'm saying low in bracket space all right the star is next to it okay transmit power i've already changed for the guys last time when they were here mm. is on two watt you can change it to four watt if you want now you see a star next to it four watt but it's a it's it's a bit of an overkill if you're not going to work very far away from the guys oh, okay. so i'm going to change it back to to what now? See, there's a star next to it now. At what now distance it's should you start using four? Ah, oh, eight kilometers plus, oh, wow. I would say. Okay. Yeah, uh, two watts quite strong. And RX LED meaning, what do you want that light to mean? We say signal received. Okay. For in case we want to use it as a. And then remember on our survey cell, we said the, the serial baud rate must be 9600. Yes. Cable coming to the radio to get to give the information. Yeah. 9600 so it's going to understand it that's why it's TXing because it's getting corrections from the base okay and the next one you'll say signal strength press enter we'll skip that always advanced menus is always hide and then we're back to device status battery normal okay so that's the settings that has to correspond to each other very importantly from the base serial board rate What's the right information is coming from the receiver should correspond to where it receives it at 9600. Okay, first and foremost, and then the next setting that you must have, it must be set up as a base radio, not mm -hmm. a repeater. Mm -hmm. Okay, number two. Number three, another setting that is important is your frequency 453.2, 453.1, uh, 463.95, whatever the frequency is you're using here, 
must be the same as that. Okay. And then not just that, but the, the link rate that it's sending it out at for 800 must be the same as here, 400. Trim talk 450s, language, trim talk 450s. And uh, then smaller things is the transmit power. You want to push it at 4 watt all the time, we'll use it for, uh, you know, at 2 watt. Okay. So that's basically a few things. All right. Um, but very important. So once these things are checked and the base and the rover settings in, the, in terms of that corresponds to each other, then you will get your new attachment. Okay.